Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction and commentary. Today, we're going to be hopping into 1979's Mad Max. I'm excited about this one because I've seen the most recent Mad Max, not really knowing too much about Mad Max, but I remember watching the most recent one in theaters and just kind of like being in awe by this, the, the scale, the magnitude, the craziness, the world building, the characters, the, you know, the lack of a um, three story structure and how it kind of like broke the rules and everything like it was just very very new and fresh to me and um you know that film was just really cool i mean you got tom hardy in it as well too but just seeing how the elements within mad max and the world that mad max just kind of delve into was just really exciting to somebody like me and i remember kind of like talking to my friend about it when we watched it uh together in the theaters but now i'm going to be tapping into the 1979 or 1980s mad max uh, i'm not sure if this is the first one either there might be one even prior to this one but i'm excited to jump into this it's always nice to kind of go back into um you know other renditions of films whether they're uh, older or newer and just kind of like being able to not necessarily compare the two but kind of um get relations of how one director's idea is this and how the other director's idea is that so uh, it's really nice in that regard and it's cool that i'm able to kind of like work backwards in a way and hopefully give proper appreciation to the older version of mad max like always guys if you want to be involved with the selections of the films that i watch or if you want to have a better chance of be watching the film that you want to watch uh definitely check out the patreon we got early access full lengths to all of this and as well as the patreon polls where you can vote on what film you would like for me to watch as always guys if you want to support the channel you don't have to also do the patreon you can support it by leaving a like comment and subscribe and at the very least i just want you to sit back relax get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into mad max again guys if you want to be able to watch and hear all that i have to say about these films check out the patreon where you can sync up your copy of the film next to mine and you can literally have a whole blast <laughs> A few years from now. That's cool. That's kind of cool. I like I like that. <laughs> Usually they have like a specific date or something like that. Or a time frame. But it's just like a few years from now. Hey Sass, what's a form on this thing? That's so interesting. I love that the car's, I mean the wheel's on the complete opposite side. <laughs> That's cool. I like how they're shooting this. Oh, hell yeah. That was epic. Don't have to work with the blasphemer. It's cool that, I mean, I already knew this, but it's so cool that cars are such a vibe in this, man. <laughs> Like they 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 are embracing it. I love how cars are just implemented in these films. I'm sure we'll see more of it as the film continues, but I'm already excited from what I'm seeing, especially with how they're shooting it. It's so interesting that this entire portion is just this chase scene, you know? You're not usually used to that. Usually we're introduced to the main character already, but from what I'm seeing, we're only seeing glimpses of him. You know, only a few frames here and there. And they're very quick. Whoa! That looked pretty cool, man. That was a complete wipeout. Damn! Damn, bruh! Oh, man. Dude! Oh my god! Yo, this is insane! These car crashes are fucking awesome, man. <laughs> Don't do any of these at home. It's suicide machine! This is so cool. I love how they're doing this. This is really awesome. <laughs> this is badass, man. <laughs> hey. 
What's up with this dude? What's going on with him? Is he just shaking in his boots now? Oh my god, how that was edited was so dope. Oh my goodness, man. Oh my god, Mel Gibson. This I think this is the youngest I've ever seen you. It was almost like a this reminds me of like um Brazil. Almost. You guys remember when we watched that? It's like a rated R Looney Tunes. This world is so interesting man it's so different from the world that i was introduced to when i saw mad max in theaters the newest one and i kind of love it i kind of like that we're i don't know it seems like we're getting alternate dimensions and, and stuff it's kind of cool nice that was cool i'm so happy he did that i was hoping that he did that <laughs> Love these camera angles, man. This film is super experimental, and I love that. Boy, Max, hey. you're a good boy. Hey, 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 hey. come on. How this is being put together is so interesting, man. It's so interesting. I love that we're just thrown into this. We're I'm being bounced around all over the place, but visually i'm intrigued and entertained so it doesn't feel like you know like my time is being wasted really <laughs> i also noticed this as well too i think the audio are they using like in-camera audio well not not in-camera audio but like well maybe i it sounds like they're doing in-camera audio Damn, damn, that's effed up. That's effed up. No worries. <laughs> He's like, ah, <laughs> why, God? <laughs> you guys see how, like, this is very Looney Tune in a way? It's experimental, like, style. It's so awesome. I love it. Yeah, this is where having a gun would probably come in handy. <laughs> it would probably come in handy. Can't get caught lacking out here. Not not around these parts. Not in a Mad Max <laughs> movie. Yeah, man, that is effed up. That is effed up. This place is lawless. These guys are almost like, uh, what's, what's that film called again? Dread? Judge Dread? Knight Rider! Well, well, well. Yo, what was that sound? Oh, man. There's so much happening. There's so much happening. I'm in it. I'm in for this ride. Walk out the door, baby. That's exactly what you're going to do. Yeah, shut up. Oh, too. Come on, Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. What do they mean that no one showed? Did no one speak up? Including the, you know, the, the, the people that were involved in this incident, that were the victims. Mm, okay, so this must be like a whole, a whole organization. Damn. I don't blame him. I mean, at this point, I'd be like, finish him. <laughs> this dude's a, a diabolical a-hole, man. I will, though. I will say, though, sometimes the audio does feel like it's, it's like, drowned out by the soundtrack. It's not too, like, in my face, but... Sometimes I can't really hear what the dialogue's saying. I also have a hard time feeling as though that was like a, a mistake because it's throughout the entire film. So if it was purposely done, because this, there's a lot of intention involved in this film, despite it being chaotic. Um, 
I wonder why it was intended for that. Okay. All right. Maybe you won't just explode. I thought they rigged your, your vehicle. These shots are so awesome. I love these shots. They actually remind me of um, Under the Skin. Remember that motorcycler? The shots when he was, you know, riding around on that was pretty cool, too. That's what this reminded me of. Oh, snap. What the heck happened to him? What happened? Yo, this dude's just getting effed up at every angle, man. Absolutely effed up, man. That was a great throw, too. It was a great throw. He sucks still, but that was a cool throw. <laughs> Damn. My man is getting burnt to a crisp. That's rough. He's gonna come to seeing his partner just looking like the 4th of July. Oh man, it's sounding like Darth Vader. Mm. There's so many pulls from horror that I'm seeing as well too. I wonder if the director has any ties with, you know, any affiliations with anything within that realm. Especially with thra uh, not thrasher, <laughs> no skateboarding, um, thrillers. Is that some of those moments remind me of uh, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre? All right, so the goose bought it, but that's the way he always came with the world. Oh, yeah. Yo, my man's outfit is crazy. That's incredible, especially with this music playing in the background. Oh man. Hmm. I got a bronze badge to say I'm one of the good guys. Know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's interesting. He brought up, he brought up a very interesting point because the 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 cops in this are just well, I wouldn't say they're just as crazy, but they're crazy. Let's hope they don't try and do anything to you and your family, man. Let's let's hope that doesn't happen. If I can remember correctly, wasn't like the uh, the Mad Max in the in like the recent film? Didn't something happen to his kid? Like it was like his family. Hence why he's just on a on a vengeful path of just killing anybody who just does anything wrong. I think I don't really know his motive, but is that what's about to happen here? Which way ahead? No, uh, maybe. Oh boy. Oh boy. I sense danger. I sense imminent danger, and I'm scared because if I'm right, this is going to be very tragic. <laughs> I hope I'm not. I hope I'm completely wrong. Well, <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that was very short-lived. <laughs> Nice, 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 nice. I'm so happy she did that. <laughs> I said we can forget it. Sounds okay to me, Jess. No. That's wild that the music is going so hard in the background. <laughs> like, I wonder why that was the the direction. I really want to know. The, I really want to know why. Like, even if there is, like, you know, not, like, a deep reasoning for it, I still would like to know why. Oh, my goodness. Where is this beach? It's not worth going this far to. Like, damn. Like, I, this is just not good. Not good. Oh, 
That's adorable. Wow. That's super adorable. Oh, man. I have a feeling I'm going to hate what's going to happen. Oh, my goodness, bro. Yo. These... These people are just effed up beyond belief. You've not got a sense of humor. I suppose you don't need a sense of humor with a pretty... I will say this film is doing a great job of making these guys just... Are the absolute scum. Not even just on Earth. Just anywhere. They're just the scum of anywhere. Yo, this old lady is a G. Hell yeah, man. What the heck? This old lady is a straight G. Oh my god. Oh my god. Damn. Well, if there's anything to have them come back to being on the road and embracing the insane world they live in is definitely this. It's yours, Yeah, that's a lot of problem, huh? Multiple tools, spleen, liver, blood. Wow, she was also pregnant. Is that what I just heard? She was pregnant as well? No, oh, he's like, I'm gonna become the monster. Become the fury, baby. This is, that's really heartbreaking. I mean, hey, you have to be the hero. You gotta be the people's hero. But man, it sucks that it had to happen this way. I'm on my own business, don't I? I mean, they'll kill me, won't they? <laughs> <laughs> you better give this man what he wants, man. What are you, what are you holding on to this information for? You see, if any of you guys out here want to live a life like this, like these scumbags, for whatever reason, I just hope you're ready to face some form of repercussions because <laughs> all that hurt you're leaving on your path is bound to awaken somebody and they're going to really, they're going to really do some terrible things. <laughs> oh my God. This is going to be what's happening soon with gas prices and everything now. <laughs> you guys are going to be... <laughs> Instead of robbing banks, people are going to be robbing actual, like, oil trucks. A oh, word. And he has that car. Hell yeah, bruh. That thing sounds epic. Stone cold, man. Stone cold. Golly. I can see why the newer film really had to embrace the practical effects. It would definitely be one hell of a cop out if they didn't, especially after seeing all of this. It's so cool to watch. You can truly feel it. Mmm. Damn, snuck him. Yeah, that was that was definitely a trap. Ah, damn, man. It's getting effed up right now, man. Yo, him getting up like that is pretty... That was pretty good. Also, it was really cool seeing, uh, I think it was like a falcon or a vulture just over where the dead body was. I think that was a hulk. <laughs> a hawk or a falcon. One of those. <laughs> That's really cool. That's really cool. Usually those would look too cartoonish, but it looks really cool in this setting. Oh my goodness, bruh. Oh. Wow. 
This guy got decimated. All right, time to go after the last one, or at least one of them. Hey, man, it's, it's, oh, this isn't what it looks, man. You know, I, I just come down here to check it out, then. Oh, this guy's gonna set this dude on fire. Personality disorder. The court, man, he said so. He, I'm not, you're not gonna hurt me, are, are you? <laughs> He's like, oh, I won't hurt you. But this burning car will. <laughs> he was dead for Christ's sake. I don't need him anymore. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, he's like, I'm going to give you an option. <laughs> oh, wow. That is crazy, man. Yo. Yo. That was cold-blooded. I love that. Oh, I love that. Damn. He just walked away. <laughs> Beastly. Beastly. All right. Wow. That's crazy. All right, everybody. And that wraps up Mad Max. All right, everybody. We just got done Mad Max. This one was definitely an interesting one. It was like a, uh, a brilliant experimental film with you know a little overarching narrative that you know took a form of revenge plot but just how this was shot and the style that they decided to go with honestly intrigues me like so much so much i, I had said the same thing about mad max and um uh, uh in the intro the beginning one not the beginning one um the mad max i saw in theaters the recent one and how much I love the the world building around it, the practical effects, the stunt coordination, all of it. And I could see why they felt the need to keep tradition with what made Mad Max as, I guess you could say, as uh, original. Um, not just talking about the settings and just the world around it, the apocalyptic environment, but also just uh, the, the practical effects, the soundtracks, the, uh, the, the whole entire just setting as well just kind of evolving into itself but man it's just really cool it's really cool the only reason why i kind of knew what was going to happen because i i had remember um you know in the recent film of mad max his reasonings to why he even acted like that in the first place and i was like wow okay well this feels a little bit like a like a prequel in a way but it's not a prequel am i right yeah because it's a whole different it's like a prequel but it's from like a different timeline but yeah, guys, that's that's basically all I had to say. I really love all the practical effects. I would love to hear what your thoughts are on this one, uh, mostly. Like, I really want to hear what your thoughts are on this one. Um, like I said, the audio was like a little bit weird at times. Uh, but again, I feel like this film had a lot of intentions, even though it may not seem that. It may seem chaotic. It definitely does seem like there's a lot more intention involved than we probably can, you know, even imagine. So. Definitely, if you have any information on why the sound design was the way that it was, let me know. But like always, guys, stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started. Purple jacket pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches because they give them free. Just like my time. Hair pulled back in the backseat.